So, just sitting out here on the patio on a beautiful, uh, warm November day. And, uh, figured I'd put together a little video to let you guys know that I'm still alive and kicking, still working. Um, part of this video is going to be a little bit that I shot midweek when I was in the truck. And, uh, part of it's going to be shot here locally around town. Um, like I said, it's just kind of depressing that I can't shoot, uh, GoPro footage in the truck anymore and lost kind of some motivation so I haven't put a video out for a while but just want to let you guys know I'm still around <laughs> All right, well, I figured I'd do a little video for you guys. I uh, haven't been in the mood to do any since I can't use the GoPro, but uh, I'm gonna talk to you a little bit here while I wait for this uh, stop to open up for me. Um, the beautiful day, as you can see, probably about 60, 65 degrees. The sun's real nice and warm. You get in the shade, it's a little bit chilly, but uh, not a bad day. You see the nice cobalt blue skies behind me, almost uh, royal blue. Trees still have uh, leaves on them, so, uh, as far as that goes, uh, things are pretty good. Um, but like I said, I can't do the GoPro video, so uh, kind of tough to figure out what I want to talk about. But we're here at the second, st uh, third stop. We had uh, our first trailer this morning with two stops on it. And now we got our second trailer for the late morning, early afternoon with two stops on it. So uh, we were out in uh, Goodyear and Buckeye this morning. Now we're in North Phoenix, and then we're going to go over to Scottsdale with the last one. So. Uh, keeping busy. Uh, yesterday I was up at Flagstaff and last week I was out in Bullhead City and uh, uh, Lake Havasu and was down to Tucson and, and uh, some other local stuff around here. So they keep me busy and I run around the whole state. Um, each day is different which is what I like. It's better than the tanker work where I was doing the same thing every single day but I sure wish I could shoot some GoPro footage for you guys but um, I can't for now so um, it's just the way it is, and we got some traffic coming here. Um, like I said, I'm waiting for the uh, store to open the doors up so I can get in. And I'm uh, behind the store, but every now and again a car goes by. So we have two of them. And uh, usually I get self conscious, but I thought the heck with it. I'm just going to keep on shooting. I don't care what they think. <laughs> I don't know. Hopefully they just said about 20 minutes they'd open up for me. So uh, we just got to sit here and wait a few minutes, and then they'll open up. We'll get the first stop delivered and head on over to Scottsdale and get the second stop delivered. All right, so we made it to Scottsdale and we are unloading the fourth stop of the day, the second trailer of the day. We got some noisy birds around us, I'm sure you can hear. Um, I can't show you much of the beauty of the state um, from the truck, but if you look over my shoulder, you can see the McDowell Mountains uh, in the background over that building behind us there. Um, it's one of the things I love about out here is the way the mountains look. They're not just green hills like they are in Pennsylvania. They're ragged, uh, rugged, rocky cliffs and uh, peaks and spires and all kinds of stuff. Some uh, mesas and tabletops and just a really unique landscape. And I really wish I could show it to you guys. I was really hoping to be able to do that. And I'm with too good of a company to mess it up. So... Uh, I really don't want to throw the GoPros out there unless I get to talk to somebody and ask them for permission. But I haven't gotten to that point yet. I want to prove myself a little bit before uh, I do something like that. So, But you see it's a beautiful day out here. Um, no jacket. <laughs> um, in the morning I need a jacket. It's usually in the low 40s, mid 40s, upper 40s, somewhere around there. So I need a jacket in the morning and then by 10 o'clock or so I... Uh, can lose the jacket and just be in short sleeves so uh, can't complain about the weather that's for sure so but anyway um, this truck's being unloaded as we speak and uh, once it's done we'll head back to the yard and call it a day and head on home all right so I didn't charge up the GoPro so I got the phone up on the dashboard it stays real nice We're going to the store gotta get pick up a couple of items I figured I'd show you a little bit of uh, Sun City, Arizona here. Beautiful mid-November morning. Temperature in the Jeep says it's 64 degrees out. I see some people are having yard sales. Um, no clouds, wall-to-wall -wall sunshine. Just a beautiful day.
building off to the uh, right there is Banner Boswell Medical Center. Quite a, a big hospital right here close to the house, which is nice. Um, you can almost walk there if you needed to. But two minutes, three minutes, you could be at the hospital in the emergency room. It doesn't get much better than that. Um, you need some emergency medical treatment. It's really close at hand. Of course, now we got the red light, and it's a long light. So uh, one thing I always hated doing was videoing at red lights. But since we've got it going, we'll try to talk through it here. Hopefully it changes soon. There we go. See all the trees are green. There's a few that changed colors and finally dropped their leaves, but that doesn't happen until uh, like between now and mid-December. And they'll drop their leaves for about a month and then get them right back again. And I don't know why this light is turning red. Oh, there's one car coming out of the uh, side street there. Just enough to change it. it should come back pretty quick. Hopefully. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, up here at uh, 107th Avenue by the rec center, you'll see a couple trees that have a orange color to them. They're a deciduous tree that will turn a fall color, drop their leaves, and then get them right back in a couple weeks' time. That's the way it works out here. Yeah, well, we're going to get this one green anyway. sit for a while here at Grand Avenue. This is a long light. Now we could go straight and go into the shopping center that way or we can make the left here and then turn on the Grand and then go into the shopping center. The arrow will come on first so we won't wait as long as if we... Uh, sat on the other side. Believe it or not, even out here in Arizona, you won't be able to see the sign, but just off to the right there is uh, Amish Furniture Store. <laughs> um, I don't know how many Amish live out here, or maybe they're shipped in or whatever, but yeah, it's a pretty big store. You can't see the name of it, it just says Amish Furniture. I've not been in there yet, but Usually, if you want quality furniture, uh, the Amish will do a nice job. It's good, usually handcrafted stuff. find a place to park and get what we need to get. This looks like as good a one as any. Alright, talk to you later.